So we left it where we had a self-contained module. That is, our template was also inside of the module itself. We can actually change that. We can have a template external to its own module. Like, so I could put this in its own template, so its own HTML file. And that's really simple. We just add a comma here and say template URL colon, and then we add the URL to where we want it. So I'm just gonna say templates, and then I'll do blog-list.html, and that's where we're actually gonna put in our template itself. Notice how I wrote template URL. It is not capitalized R or not capitalized L. It's just capitalized U and template URL. There we go. So, and of course it's a string, and we wanna make sure we have a comma because this is a dictionary value that we're passing through. So I'm gonna go ahead and comment out the template tag itself. We'll save this and let's go ahead and make sure that our server is running or our, our mock server is running. And we refresh in here, what we see is nothing. So let's go ahead and inspect the element and look at our console. And we see that it says status 404, file not found, templates, blog list. So we actually need to create that. So let's go into our folder, the SRC folder. We're gonna make a new one called templates. And in here, we're gonna make our new file called blog-list.html. And let's go ahead and go back into our component and copy and paste this whole div tag. Paste it in there and we can, you know, we can kind of move it around a little bit. The nice thing about having it in its own template file is that, well, one of them, you got syntax checking from Sublime Text or any sort of um, text editor. But the other thing is, now I can just jump into this template file and make little changes when I need to and not necessarily always jump in to the component itself. Um, so both ways are have their advantages and disadvantages. I think the advantage of having the template external is really, really nice, especially if it gets a little bit bigger than this. Right now it's really simple, but if the template ends up being pretty big, that's when I would use it as an external template. If the template's really, really small as it is currently, then I would have it inside of the actual component itself. Now there is the rule of thumb of like, you know, if you be consistent. So at the end of the day, be consistent in what you do in the actions you take. Don't be random or arbitrary. So if you end up doing template external templates, just do that and that's okay. Okay, so now that we've got this template, let's go ahead and look and we refresh and there it is. And of course, if I do the click again, it still works. It's still going off of that blog component, uh, the blog list component, and it's still working just fine. So that's external templates.